Palestine is not just a land or a place, it's history. It's my identity. I want to feel Palestine rather than being able to tell what's Palestine. Everything in and all over the world is defined by a place and time coordinate. Palestine is these coordinates for me. I know what's what's everything around me is through Palestine. It's my future, it's my blood. It's where, when I look back, I find my root. It means my kids, it means love, it means life. If I was not Palestinian, if I was Israeli, I don't know if I was going to feel the same, but I would still be in the need to find this point. The issue is not being Palestinian or not. There is a deep conflict. It goes from long time ago, more than 50 years. <laughs> For some people consider Israel this military a huge superpower system, even including the civilians, the normal people who are seeking peace, seeking love, seeking security, seeking whatever. You know? This is something and I don't know if you mean these Israelis or you mean uh, the other shape or view or image of Israel which is exemplified by Sharon and the cabinet and and the occupation and this stuff. I want to say that there are human beings in there and, and, and we know that they want to live and they have intentions. Sometimes as a Palestinian I, I just want to forget, I, I just want sometimes want to find a corner where I live in peace and love and be, and, and be happy regardless of my identity, you know? And I believe that some Israelis wants this. And, and in some way we get involved in the conflict without we know, but we are living in the same crowded area. They are not going to live happy if we are not living happy. This is certain. They are not going to live in peace if we are not living in peace. This is certain, this is fact. If we don't feel secure, they will not feel secure. They should be aware of our rights. They should be aware of our uh, culture, social life, everything. They choose to be here. It's obvious that we choose to be here too, or we are here from the very beginning. Let's assume that like, it's my right to tell my story. And I believe in it, that this land is mine and it was stolen by power by the Israelis one day. If they say something else, it's okay. But this is my story. And let's say I'm, I'm ready to give, I'm ready to make uh, compromises because of freedom. If they are not ready to do that, well, we will still continue to ask our rights. It's ingrained there in our blood and bones. We will not be able to stop asking. If they sometimes want to force us and put us under pressure to make compromises, to change our rights or to, to decrease our rights, it's stupid because one day, it's still, we will continue to ask. Sometimes I'm really wondering, the whole international community and whole internationals who visit this country and the whole world is talking about suicide bombers. I wish that they talk about suicide bombers, they talk about occupation as much as they talk about suicide bombers. The whole issue is not suicide bombers, the whole issue is occupation. I mean, I don't support suicide bombers, it's fine, but let's talk about occupation. Let's talk about how many thousands of refugees are really exiled and thrown outside Palestine. Every single Israeli should be aware that he contributes toward the suffering of the Palestinians. He contributes toward enhancing and reinforcing occupation, giving occupation in, in the territories here a strength to fight or to kill others. Every single Israeli should be aware that his security and his safety and his peace and his life is based and is built on the ruins of another people which are the Palestinians. Without being aware of that, I don't think he has or she has the right to live in peace.
life are a chances if you deserve the chance